도착해졌으면 좋겠습니다. 야야야. 야야야. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been like five months since I posted a video, um, which I am very sorry about. I was really busy with work and then school started up again a couple months ago. So, but I am back and I am ready to do some reorganizing. I bought some new things for my collection. So this entire video is going to be me reorganizing my Stray Kids collection. And I'm not going to be putting everything that I have away. Like um, I will not be showing my Felix binder um, because, well, you'll, you'll see, <laughs> but yeah. So as you can see here, this is a brand new binder that I got from Meow Cafe and it is the A5 extra wide binder. So it is the six pocket binder. So obviously a lot of people use this for OT5, OT6 groups or collections. But since I collect three members of Stray Kids, I am going to be putting all of their album photo cards in this binder. So not their pops or non-album. If you remember, my Felix binder has a lot of pops and non-album. And then my Minsung binder did have album photo cards and it also had pops, but now it will just have pops. So this is only for album photo cards. And I got this um, decal for it, which is so pretty. I literally just put it on like two minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, so I am super excited. I actually did a little bit um, already. And what I mean by that is, so I put all the fillers away for cards that I still do not have yet. But obviously there are a lot of empty spaces and it's because I do have those cards. So another thing, so another thing that I got from Meow Cafe is this photo card um, storage box. And so yeah, this is literally only my Lino, Han, and Felix album photo cards all in here. <laughs> so, yes. And, yeah, so these are the slim pages. And for the sleeves, or for the outer sleeves for these photo cards, um, let me move this a little. For the outer sleeves for these photo cards, I did use Meow Cafe's sleeves. So, they are the 59.5 by 91 millimeter, and they fit like perfectly in these pockets. For my inner sleeve photo cards, I have always used Sleeve Kings, and so I didn't buy their inner sleeve ones. I just continued to use my Sleeve Kings, and it was a little hard to double sleeve with those. Um, I think just because the Sleeve Kings ones are sort of flimsy and pretty thin, so they can get kind of bunched up when you're putting when you're putting the single sleeve card into like the outer sleeve card. But yeah. Anyways, like I said, I made fillers already. So these are the five star Digipack um, Pod photo cards and the regular. Digipack photo cards and I am collecting OT8 for all the regular five star photo cards um, so and I have those on the way so that's why only the um, Digipack ones are going to go in there but then we have these Maxident so I have all of them already sleeved ready to go so we will just put them in. So I don't know if you can see, but at the top here, um, it has a flap to keep the photo cards in, which is nice. I don't mind it, but 
It does make putting the photo card in really tricky and kind of annoying, um, which like, it's fine. <laughs> like I can deal with it. When I was putting the fillers in, it was definitely a bit of a pain just because, you know, the sticky notes kind of would get caught on it, but that kind of happens anyway. So it's not a huge deal. So yes. Just putting these away. I am so happy to have bought this binder because I've been thinking about how I've wanted to reorganize my collections, especially my Stray Kids collection. Um, pretty like recently, I've been just kind of doing some thinking about it. So yeah, I just ended up kind of stumbling across Meow Cafe. I honestly had not heard of it until very recently, but I was, well, I don't know if I asked, but somebody in a group chat that I'm in on Instagram was asking about um, like good places to buy photo card binders and sleeves and pages. And um, Meow Cafe came up as well as Mandu Deco, I think is what it's called. Um, and so I just looked at both like options and was, you know, just seeing, yeah, just seeing what my options were. And I decided that I really wanted this setup. Since I collect three members, it just makes sense. But it's different than like a regular sized binder, like an A4 binder because, you know, obviously if you use nine pocket pages in an A4 binder, um, that's like perfect for three members, right? But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try something a little different. And yeah, I'm not really an A5 binder um, person. I like, I'm pretty much, have, I've pretty much always stuck with like A4 um, binders, but I, like I said, I just wanted to kind of try something new. And I really like, you know, that they're smaller, but not too small. And I just have always really liked, especially how the, um, extra wide ones look for like Beyond D um, and because you know obviously I collect an IVE member and so I watch a lot of uh, like photo card related videos for IVE members and a lot of people collect IVE OT6 and so I see these like binders A5 extra wide binders all the time And I just have always really liked how they looked, so that's why I decided to try it out. And, you know, obviously so far I just really like how it looks. I think it looks so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, so now we're done with Ordinary. And then going to this next stack. So starting with Christmas Evil. The... Um, green backs but yeah so I did decide to just make all the fillers and also like put all the fillers in off camera because with the amount of photo cards I have to put away I think it might already be a little bit of a lengthy video and it would have been like hours long if I had shown me like making and putting the fillers in here like it literally took me like three or four hours <laughs> to make all these fillers, not just for this um, binder and not just the fillers, but also to take all the cards out. And then you'll see for the next binder, I also had to take a bunch of cards out and move stuff around for that. But yeah, <laughs> it did take a really long time. But I mean, I'm not complaining, like I, 
think it was worth it because now it just looks really nice. So yeah. Put those in and then going to note easy. I also am a little bit of a <laughs> um, perfectionist, I guess you could say, um, with how things look and the layout of stuff, which might be a little surprising <laughs> if you've seen some of my previous videos because there are definitely times where I'm just like, you know, just put things in sort of random places. But that's usually because I don't want to like spend a lot of time on camera like in front of you guys like freaking out because I <laughs> I definitely would do that but I usually just like put a stop to it so that's usually why that happens but another reason why it took me like three hours to organize all of this is just because of my like perfectionist tendencies with that and <laughs> Yeah, so I spent a lot of time thinking about where like all the cards were gonna go. I like counted everything out, um, kind of played around with some of the layouts for things. And so each card or like, what do you wanna call it? Set of cards, you know? Like if, if this was a set, if each row was a set, I paid very close attention to the details for that so it might not look like anything too like revolutionary on camera but I did spend a lot of time thinking about it so just just know that um but yes so I will sort of explain a few things with like decisions I made so like this page right here um you know jewel case these were the jewel case pops frames and then these are the jewel case photo cards so obviously i put them together originally i had thought of putting the black and red ones like double-sided because that's what i had done previously for both my minsung binder and then my felix binder like you know because they're two different ones that's what i had done with those two binders so before i done that but I, when I had like done that, I was like ready to do that. And then when I ended up counting everything out, I decided that putting them separately worked out better. Plus this is so satisfying to see the backs like red like that. <laughs> so yes. Um, next I'm putting this version for no easy, the green raindrops. I don't know what they are. I think they're raindrops. So, yes. So, yeah. Putting all of these away like that looks so cute tell me that doesn't look so cute <laughs> or maybe you think it doesn't look cute i don't know but if you think it doesn't look cute then sorry so yeah and also these are green these are both green so that's partially why they're together but also these are my favorite aside from the jewel case these are my two favorite sets well the black one is my favorite but that's why it's the ot8 set is because it's my favorite, so that's why I collected OT for it. But yeah, so on that note, if you do realize like, oh, there's one set missing that you don't have fillers for or anything, it's most likely because that is an OT8 set that I'm collecting. I mean, you could still point it out if you wanted and who knows, maybe I made a mistake, <laughs> but I kind of doubt that because I did spend a really long time doing this and if I found out I made a mistake, then that's, 
<laughs> that's gonna kind of freak me out so i don't know maybe you don't tell me um yeah so next in life also this is a new camera setup obviously the angle is a lot um wider than before it's a lot uh, more zoomed out than before. I did get a different stand or tripod or whatever you want to call it. Um, just because the other one was really unstable, it fell like all the time while I was filming. And like, you know, obviously I edit my videos and stuff, so I would just, you know, cut all those out, but it would fall over a lot because I would just like very lightly bump into it and it would completely like <laughs> fall over on its side so I was like okay I need to get one that's more stable and also I want to get one that can do this sort of overhead angle better um so yeah I found this one and the one that I'm using um, I got it off Amazon and it attaches to the surface of whatever you're putting it on if that makes sense um I don't think how to explain but it has like at the bottom it has like a mouth <laughs> and you and then you know, obviously there's like the you know length of it which you can extend and stuff and there there's this little part near the mouth that you can like screw tighter or looser and so then it just like attaches to the surface and yeah so I really like it. Obviously this is my first time using it, but I do really like it. Okay, so, oh yeah, I forgot to say, in life, starting go live, the two double-sided sets, and then moving on to the regular versions so like this is one where it worked out that I am collecting an OT8 set because it just so happened then that there would be four you know different sets of photo cards instead of five I mean it would be six if you counted the limited but I'm not <laughs> I am not gonna try to really collect the limited go live versions for Lino or Han just because <laughs> just because no I got very lucky with finding Felix's I actually traded like multiple album photo cards for it I don't remember what group but somehow it worked out and it was also international and <laughs> I just had it, like it was just sent stamped international, which is honestly insane for me to look back on. The fact that I just was like okay with that, considering it was like a limited card, I don't know what I was thinking, but somehow it happened. <laughs> so it's like somehow it, it worked out and it got here. But yeah, that's um, Felix's Go Live limited version is not in this binder because his is the only one I'm planning on collecting unless for some weird reason like by some miracle I can find Milo and Jisung's then I guess I'll have to reorganize this whole thing again but that's okay like it is it's fine so yeah, I can definitely see why a lot of people do not like these sleeves, like, at all. It is definitely a little annoying, but overall, I really like how snugly they fit. Snugly a word? I don't know. But yeah. So, done with the Vanter. Now, moving on to Yellow Wood. So I only have Felix's for this first version, and then this other version I only have Jisung and Felix. This Mino is really hard 
to find. I cannot find it like anywhere. It's always gone immediately in group orders or when it's like put up for trade or something. And then black border, also missing news. And then yellow border. So obviously, since Felix was the first member that I collected, um, I have more of his than like Min Sung's, so. That's why there are a few, especially for older eras, there are a lot of like pages where it's, I only have Felix's, like this page, for example. And yeah, and then this page, I don't know what happened, but I just cannot find these two Felix mural cards, so. All fillers there. But then I have these name border cards. I don't know what people call them. I call them name border, but. This is my favorite set. So cute. And then this red border version. Again, I only have Felix's. And then moving on to I Am You, I have this version. I overpaid for this Jisung, but I don't really care. And then the other IMU, of course, I only have Felix because these cards are so difficult to get. And yeah, and then the last pile. So moving on to I am who I have Nino and Felix. Okay, and then black border. And then for yellow, I actually only have Jisung's because I joined a group order where I got his entire um, selfie set. Obviously, not this one, but yeah. So I got that for like a pretty decent price. Obviously, I was going to get that because like I said, they're so hard to find. Well, actually, I said that for IMU, but <laughs> both of those eras are notoriously difficult to find. And white border. I've had Felix's for a while. And then, like I said, this came in a set. And this Lino, okay, so it's technically a trade, but I consider it a gift. I traded with one of my mutuals on Twitter, one of my friends, and yeah, <laughs> that's how I got this one. And I just call it a gift because, like I said, these are hard to find. And like, like, don't get me wrong, it was equal. Like I would consider it an equal trade. Like we traded like multiple things with each other, but still, I just will always call it a gift because I can't believe that I have it, so. Okay, and then I am not, If you're wondering for the layout of this page, I did this solely because both sets were complete and I wanted a complete page. There's nothing special about that. So there's nothing special <laughs> about my like reasoning for that. And then mixtape selfies. I finally have all three. And then for the behind, I only have Felix's. And we are done. 
So it actually ended up where there's only one empty page left, which I did not plan. Like, I actually did not count that out, like, for how many pages I would need, but it worked out. So, I don't know if you can see, but that is helpful it is because it's double sleeved, but yeah, so let's look at it like this. So there's a, <laughs> there's a little bit of room. Um, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. It will happen. Move this out of the way. So, if you have watched my previous videos, then you know that this blue, like Avery binder, was my Stray Kids binder. Well, there's like nothing in here anymore. And that is because I also got another binder from Meow Cafe, which is their two inch A4. Can you tell that I like the color purple? I think it's shocking. And so now I'm using this one. And it is so cute. It has this cute little design on it. And I love the color, obviously. And I just really like that it is like an A4 um, because I'm going to eventually get some other size pages and put my larger Stray Kids inclusions in here as well because there is a ton of room in this. Like this is, this is two inches. I think the blue one was either an inch or an inch and a half, but this is two inches. So... <laughs> like it is thick like she's thick so I know there will be like plenty of room for me to do that so yeah so let's start to put these away so just like the Mint Sung Looks binder by the way yes I am referring to it as the Mint Sung Looks binder that is how I refer to my bias line all the time because it's easier than saying, you know, Lino Han Felix or Lino Ji Sung Felix. Like, it just, it doesn't sound the same. <laughs> it does not. It does not sound the same. But I just want to clarify that it's not because of, like, a shipping thing or something. Like, it's not like that. It's just because... It's just easier and it's cuter and it's fun, you know, it's fun. And so we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. But yeah, so the, <laughs> I just want to explain that because I don't, I mean, I don't think anybody would like think it's weird, but I'm not going to lie. When I put the order, like when I placed the order on Etsy for the decal that says Mints and Wicks on that binder, I was like, I wonder how... <laughs> I wonder how this person is gonna feel when they see that like I, I wonder what's gonna go through their head because you know it's just a decal that you can put on literally anything a lot of people put it on like light sticks so I don't know if they thought I was gonna put that on like my light stick or something which you know also I don't think would be weird necessarily but I think I would think that through a little bit more than just my binder at home <laughs> That's like pretty much just for me to look at and like other people who collect and would probably understand the sentiment. Yeah, I'm just going on a tangent, but still I wanted to clarify because I also just think it's a little funny. Um, and I won't, I won't, yeah, I won't say anything else. <laughs> yeah, so these pages are for five star, these empty ones are all for five star because like I said, um, I'm collecting OT8 for all the regular five star album photo cards and they're still on the way, but I did not think it would make sense to put fillers in here for basically no reason because first of all, the GOM that I got them from has them on hand and they're gonna ship them very soon. 
secondly, I feel like fillers are more so when you like don't have it yet or you know you know some people have them when they're like on the way which like you know sure but usually for me I do it when I like do not have them like I don't have them secured like they have not yet been found like please come home like that sort of deal so that is why I did not put fillers for all these it would also be such a waste of sticky notes and paper and <laughs> photocard collecting is already wasteful enough these were already wasteful enough so I did not want to do that you know save the trees and yeah so I'm gonna turn this because that's you know how it's meant to be viewed pretty much and yeah so this is the tea crush version of Maxident so let's start here so actually this is a little bit more difficult to put in if you already have the pages in the binder. And actually it was kind of difficult to just put these pages in in the first place. Um, I had to put them in like two to three at a time because the holes, it's just, it's difficult to line up. And so you kind of have to almost stretch it a little when you're putting it in to like the last hole or else it will like literally not fit. Like you have to kind of move it like so that it will go in, which I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have experience with like a ton of different pocket pages. I have pretty much always used Ultra Pro, sometimes BCW, but for the most part, Ultra Pro. They only have the three, like, three hole punched for theirs, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Like, maybe that's just a common thing that happens. I don't know. So I'm not saying, like, don't buy these pages because I, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Putting these in. So, yeah. So when I put them in, I kind of lift it and then you can get to the top easier because otherwise I mean I don't know how else you would do it because otherwise your hand would just be like knocking into this all the time but so that's why people from what I've seen put them in before like putting the pages in but like I said when I realized that it is this backwards yep <laughs> It was backwards, okay. But like I said, um, when I realized that it was like difficult to put these in, I was like, okay, I'll just put it on, you know, put them in off camera. But yeah, so I honestly have always been kind of a hater with <laughs> photo cards that are facing this way and i always would get super mad whenever i would like have to use six pocket or eight pocket pages for you know whatever reason um because you know up until recently stray kids their japanese photo cards were like very weirdly sized and so i would use six pockets for that or eight pockets but anyways <laughs> not the point but i didn't like how it looked however I also, when I was looking at like on TikTok and YouTube and also Instagram, people who had this setup for like OT8, I mean for stray kids, but <laughs> I don't know what other groups are, um, OT8, so sorry, but when I was looking at that, I was like, okay, I actually really like this and I don't mind turning it because it's also been a little difficult to keep up with making my fillers. Okay, um, my phone stopped recording, I didn't realize, but <laughs> I was actually just saying that if you don't like talkative, like photo cards during videos, I am very sorry. Um, okay, and then the next one, 
Next era is Ordinary. I can never remember the versions. This is either scanning or mask off or something. It's the red back. That's how I refer to it. But yeah, I am missing Jisung's. I actually had Jisung's on the way, but it got lost in the mail. I probably talked about that in a previous video because it was a long time ago. <laughs> like, it was when Ordinary era was happening so yeah um i just call it a funky hat because it's a funky hat you know i mean technically this is also sort of a funky hat this is also kind of a funky hat but that's like really a funky hat and i mean that like in a positive way <laughs> i know some people like don't like his hats and stuff but i think they're cute you know it adds character <laughs> So, yes. Then, oh. then the IDs, which I don't even know how I'm still missing some of these. I, I guess if I really tried, you know, I could find them, I would hope, pretty easily. Because, I mean, I remember they went for like one or two dollars, so I just haven't made them like a priority. But I do think the concept of them is really cute, so that's why I decided to collect them, even though they're not, like, selfie photo cards. Then we have the Ordinary Units. These do not have holographic sleeves because... Um... I have more of these, you know, Dragon Shield sleeves than the holographic ones. Honestly, <laughs> I do have enough of the, like, rainbow holographic ones, but I don't want to resleeve them. I just, I don't want to, okay? I don't want to resleeve them because it's a lot, and I already spent, like, all day today sleeping photo cards. <laughs> so, forgive me, I don't want to continue doing that but yeah so black version then the blue version I don't remember if I put these away on camera but I do think I talked about in a previous video that these don't have like a real order like I tried to sort of go by age order but obviously that doesn't really work or make sense because they're units <laughs> so yeah blue version and lastly the red version Yeah, I, I can definitely see how some people would find this annoying, but I think, you know, if you put these in before you put the pages into the binder, then it wouldn't be as annoying. And also, these are just the regular Dragon Shield, like, standard size sleeves, so they are pretty big. Um, so these are just the standard fit eight pockets. I don't even know if there's a slim one, but just in case you're wondering. And then these are the ordinary cutouts from... Were these in the jewel cases? I think so. I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been like a year. Okay, I don't remember. But yeah, I just put these in ahead of time because I try to position them somewhat and this is already off but we're just gonna ignore it we're just we're just working through it okay 
Okay, and then we have these season's greetings. Which in the previous binder, these were together, like double-sided. Because the backs are <laughs> really not that interesting. But I decided to just do this because the sleeves, it's already kind of a tight fit as is. So I think if I had put two it would have kind of bent the photo cards a little speaking of bent i don't know if it looks like they're bending when i'm putting them in sometimes i notice that when i watch starring videos i'm like oh my god the photo card is bent but <laughs> like i don't know if it only looks like that on camera Cause, you know you have to push so it kind of you kind of are bending it a little but you know it's fine <laughs> it's double sleeved so i don't really worry that much okay then we have christmas evil so we're starting with <laughs> Okay, so then these are the fillers that I have for that one. Then moving on to No Easy. So as you can see, I did put these ones in because these are the like pre-order booklets that I um, cut out a long time ago. And they are basically perfect, if I do say so myself. <laughs> like the backs, the backs are like almost perfectly even. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I just went ahead and put those in because they don't have an inner sleeve, so they can also get a little crooked. So I wanted to just try to put them in. Like with more care, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but I also just figured it would save more time because, as I said, um, this video is definitely going to be long. Like, it's probably going to be almost an hour. Hopefully not over an hour, but yeah. Okay, so these are the um, like limited photo cards, which these are like the best photo cards ever. I'm still upset. I'm still upset that Ian's <laughs> background is dark, but it's okay. So then speaking of another background <laughs> that doesn't fit, um, this entire set is just kind of crazy. Like, I don't even, like I'm not, I'm not really sure what was happening there.
If you can hear my dog walking, <laughs> just know that's what that noise is. Okay, there's that. Then in life, the selfie, double-sided version. I finally got Minos for this set and also Chungbin's. Oops. So actually, if you remember, I did have Jisung's, but I actually traded Jisung's for Minos because I knew that I would like never be able to find <laughs> that Mino card again um, and I figured the Jisung one would be a little easier to find again. It'll probably still take a while but I mean I just couldn't like pass up on that so yeah. So then let's just go to go live the pose version. And I finally got Hyunjin's. I got this from Makari Japan for a very good price. Oops. So I'm very happy to finally have it. I think Changbin's might be a new, or actually, I don't even remember if I put it in my last video, but. So this set is complete. Which looks so nice. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. Last set is Levanter. The name version, which is the best version, in my humble opinion. All the photo cards for Levanter are spectacular. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's not like I think this version is like significantly better or anything, but I just think it's perfect for like an OTA collector because it has like all their names and it's completely cohesive. Well, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Changbin's background is a little darker, but it's not, it's not like the no easy limited situation. You know, it's not that type of situation. This photo card, I've probably said this in another video, so I'm very sorry if I've said it before, but this was the first Stray Kids photo card that I ever got. So it is very special to me. I love it. Okay. So that is it. Flip through for OT8. Maxident. Ordinary, Ordinary Units, the Season's Greetings for 2022, Christmas Evil, Pre-Order Benefit, Christmas Evil red back version, the No Easy booklet, Perder Benefit, No Easy Limited, No Easy Purple Lightning version. I don't know what to call this, but the back is purple lightning, so. In life selfie double-sided version that's what I'm calling it literally just their backs on the back 
which is an interesting choice. Like, it's certainly a choice. Go live pose version? Mimic version? I've seen some people call it that, so I don't know. <laughs> um, banter, name version, and that is it for now. So, this is the OT8 binder setup. And then, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of my new, my other new binder. Okay. Accident case versions. Accident Go versions and Heart versions, Ordinary Jewel Case and Frankenstein version, Ordinary and then Christmas Evil, Christmas Evil, No Easy Frame, No Easy Jewel Case Frame, No Easy Jewel Case Photo Cards. More no easy. In life, double sided concept. Go live hoodie and the on track double sided. More go live, Levanter, silver border, blue border, no border, concept version, yellow wood outside version, no border version, more yellow wood, black border, yellow border, yellow wood concept version, mural concept version, then I'm missing the Skiz logo and purple border versions for all three of them for Miro. Then the Miro name border one. Then red border. I am you. I am you pink border. I am who concept version. I am who black border and yellow border white border, and then I am not. Then mixtape selfie and mixtape behind. Also forgot to mention, I am not collecting the baby photo cards for Minsung. I am just have Felix's already, so I'm just keeping that one, but not really, I don't really like the whole baby card thing, so that's, yeah, I don't really like it, so. Anyways, there's that, oh my god, it looks so full. Crazy, I, I know I already showed that, but if anybody for some reason skipped to the flip through, which is fine, I'm like, just wanted to show that. So, yeah, that is everything. I think this video is like about an hour long and yeah, hopefully it wasn't too boring um, or hopefully you didn't find my like talking, rambling too annoying, but that is it for this video. I will be putting like actually putting photo cards, like new photo cards away. Some of these were new, but you know what I mean, like my more typical photo card drawing video. Um, I'll probably have that up within the month. I'm going to try to be more active on here, but I also don't want to like overpromise because I do have midterms coming up soon. But hopefully, I can record that very soon for you guys. Um, and if you stuck around and like are returning from previous video, or if you're new, thank you so much for watching. And. I will see you guys next time. 
Take care. Stay healthy.